The newly launched National Social Policy 2030 is proof of the government's commitment to building a more prosperous, inclusive and progressive nation. Deputy Prime Minister Datuk Sri Dr Ahmad Said Hamidi said the policy resulting from close cooperation among ministries, government agencies and the private sector as well as the community will set the country's social direction and address social issues holistically. Ia merupakan hasil usaha serta kerjasama erat antara pelbagai pihak termasuk kementerian, agensi kerajaan, sektor swasta dan masyarakat. Kita mesti bekerja erat dalam mencapai satu matlamat yakni membangunkan rakyat Malaysia yang sentiasa berpegang teguh kepada nilai-nilai murni sebagai asas. That's our mission together. Speaking at the launch of DSN 2030 at the Kuala Lumpur World Trade Center on Monday, Sahid explained that Malaysia's progress is measured not only by economic and infrastructure development, but also by social well-being and humane achievements. Realizing that sustainable development requires balance, the government also needs to invest in social well-being through policies that promote economic opportunities, as well as fair distribution of resources, access to education and healthcare. As the chairman of the National Social Council, Sahid said, Various initiatives have been carried out in addition to planning new approaches to reduce the problem of social disparity. The trend of suicides in the country is also increasingly worrying with a 10% increase in 2023 compared to 2022. In the two years until October 2024, the Health Ministry, through the HEAL hotline, has received 342 calls about suicidal behaviour, with 138 of them being suicide attempts. In addition, the value of family well-being is also deteriorating leading to an increase in cases of divorce, domestic violence, abuse and neglect of children, the elderly and people with disabilities.